Hey there guys, I'm Jamie and welcome back to Eat Love Protein. I've got a new video for you guys today because I've been seeing this magic spoon thing advertised everywhere and I wanted to give it a try for myself. Now it's time to make Magic Spoon put their cereal where their mouth is. And also, that reminds me, if it's your first time here, definitely make sure that you give the video a like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of my next future easy breezy beautiful recipes. If you're anything like me, then you've probably seen Magic Spoon advertising everywhere on Instagram, Facebook, and sponsoring YouTube channels and podcasts left and right. After a while, it starts to feel like they're following you a little bit. So I decided to check out their website for myself and something that I found interesting was that they decided to pit their cereals head to head against other popular grocery store cereals. So I was curious, how well do these healthy cereals actually stack up against the competition, against what you can get at your regular store? That's what we're about to find out today in this review. I'll tell you about the sight, smell, dry taste, and milk taste of the four flavors that we're gonna be trying today. All right, are you ready? Then let's get to the review. So today we're going to be trying Magic Spoon with this uh, oat milk because that is what I had. And I figure that since we are making healthy choices or whatever, I'm going to use this today as well. Don't think it's weird, but I just figure that it's clear so that way you can get a good look at the cereal now without further ado let's get started all right so let's get started with the fruity flavor this is going to be completely blind i mean relatively blind you know i've seen like the website or whatever but it's going to be my first time ever trying any of these cereals so i'm going to give you kind of my unfiltered thoughts about what i'm smelling seeing and tasting. So, this is what it looks like in the bag. I think they said that they don't use any artificial dyes. It says, wait, naturally flavored. I don't know, maybe they do use artificial dye. Oh no, it's, yeah, so it's natural dye. It says vegetable juice for color. So, stick that bad boy over there. That's this one. Let's give it a smell. I will say, I'm pretty impressed. This is very Fruit Loops-like in the smell. I would say it smells almost exactly like Fruit Loops, but a little bit lighter. But, and the colors are very, very vibrant. So let's pour it out into this little cup. Just wanna try some. I mean, I'm gonna be trying all four, so. All right, that is this in this little cup. Here's kind of what it looks like up close. So that you can see that. That's what it looks like up close. All right, oh, before we taste, let's look at this too. It says 150 calories, there are I'm mostly interested in calories, sodium, sugar, and protein. So there is 150 calories, zero grams of sugar, which is really great. I like to eat a low sugar diet, and 13 grams of protein in one serving, which would be about 38 grams, and there's five servings per container. So. Give it a taste. Still smells pretty Fruit Loops like. Wow. That's really pretty good. The only thing I would say is that I tasted almost like a note of bitter, but I don't know if maybe they used something from oranges and if the orange extract, like some of them are too close to the pith, which is the white part of an orange. So sometimes I can be like a little sensitive to bitterness in um, stuff like that So that is one thought of mine, but then it has a really lovely finish too. Let me take another bite Mmm Really good and the cereal itself Is a delightful texture. It's really light like a light rice puff cereal. Let's see. Is it rice? 
Hmm. There's turmeric extract in this one. Maybe that's where I'm getting the bitter from. Yeah, that could be it. But it is really, like, really good and really close to a Fruit Loops flavor. And especially for having zero grams of sugar in this one, it's like very sweet, but like for a second I had to see if it was the milk that was bitter because I do just get this like bitter and then almost like a spiciness. But I wonder, <laughs> I really wonder if that's from the turmeric. It's kind of nice though. Like it's a little bit weird and definitely spicy. Not like very spicy, but I can feel the warmth on my mouth. But um, in a way, I feel like it almost makes my, like my breath smell better. So that's interesting. The bitter and or spicy part of this fruity one is a little bit strange. It's not too spicy like if you, sorry, I wanna see if I can smell it. Let me try some raw. Like I feel like it's this yellow one, which would be the turmeric. So let's see if I taste this bitter or the spicy. It's not as strong on the raw cereal. I think I do taste a little bit of the bitterness though, but then, um, oops. I would kind of wonder though if the milk brings that out. So that is my two cents on fruity. Let's try the next flavor. All right, here we are with the next flavor, frosted. These ones I think are supposed to be a competitor to frosted flakes. I would assume that there's not turmeric in this, so maybe we won't have this spicy thing going on. Let's see what's in this one. Milk protein, there's sweetener, oil, tapioca starch. This has inulin from chicory root or agave, so I almost wonder if the chicory root maybe is what gives it that um, flavor, but I'm not sure. So this one has 140 calories, 10 less calories than the other one. Still 13 grams of protein, still zero grams of sugar, 210 milligrams of sodium. So a little more sodium than the last one. These are supposed to be, oh yeah, here's kind of what they look like in the bag. I already kind of smelled them through the bag, so that's good. I'm pretty impressed that for zero sugar, this has such a strong smell. I would say smelling this, it gives me really strong sugar cookie or birthday cake vibes. Not really so much with the uh, Frosted Flakes to me. I don't think that Frosted Flakes necessarily smell like sugar cookies, although I haven't had Frosted Flakes in a really long time. Um, visually, they look kind of like really sad Cheerios that need to go panning. Don't get me wrong, like it's pretty good in the sense that I'm definitely surprised how sweet these are com um, considering that they don't have sugar in them. But uh, these ones, I wouldn't say they taste anything like raw Frosted Flakes, but Let's see what happens if we put them in some milk. So we get a close up. So that's kind of what they look like. In the milk, it's from the side. You can't really see anything. But yeah, they're really, really pale. Okay, so definitely give me really strong sugar cookie vibes. Let's smell it now that it's in milk. Yeah, still really giving me like a birthday cake or a sugar cookie vibe, which I find kind of funny because right after I ordered these, Magic Spoon released a birthday cake flavor and I really, really wanted to get it, but it would mean having to order all these other flavors again, which I was considering doing, but to be honest, like after smelling this, we've got to see how it tastes in the milk, but it already seems very much like a birthday cake type of flavor, like a sugar cookie type of flavor much more than what I would consider like a Frosted Flakes type of flavor, which I think is what they are supposed to be competing with with this one. I would say for the last one that we just looked at, the Fruity, it is very similar in smell to Fruit Loops and very similar in taste to Fruit Loops as well. 
I think that they maybe just have to work out that thing with the turmeric because it's like a little spicy and I do think that it um, gives me like a bitter aftertaste. But anyway, I was just thinking about that. All right, let's try this. Mm. No. Somehow when I bite it, it gives me like a banana vibes. So I don't love that. And then it kind of finishes, um, finishes with like that birthday cake flavor. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't give me Frosted Flakes vibes at all. But on the plus side, I probably don't have to buy the birthday cake flavor. <laughs> I would say, if you're looking for Frosted Flakes, to skip this one. If you just want something that's kind of like mildly sweet, then this could be a good option for you. But I definitely wouldn't buy it if you're looking for a Frosted Flakes replacement. So that's pretty much my two cents on Frosted. Let's move on to the next flavor, peanut butter. All right, here we are trying the peanut butter flavor. So this one so far has the most calories out of all the ones that we've seen. 170 calories, 210 milligrams of sodium, so about the same as the Frosted. 14 grams of protein, one extra gram of protein, and of course, no sugar. So what I can say is that no sugar is great about all of them, but we will have to see if it's worth more calories and so far, probably the most amount of sodium so far. So let's take it out. Okay, this is kind of what it looks like in the bag. So these to me look like actual Cheerios. Like the frosted ones looked like sad Cheerios that needed to go on a suntan and this looks like legit actual Cheerios. So let's take a smell. All right, look, the protein's working already, you guys. Um, okay, so the smell, definitely peanut buttery and sweet. Kind of reminds me of like the inside of a candy bar. Like maybe how if you if you were to just break a nougat candy bar in half, smell just the nougat. Kind of like, I guess like a Milky Way. If you split that in half, you just broke it in half and you smelled a Milky Way. That kind of like sweet chemical-y smell of the nougat is also here. And then like with some peanut on the nose, like forward on the nose. So let's see what it's like. Try. Nice. It's a little bit light in the peanut flavor, but it does have a nice saltiness to it on the, you know, raw cereal anyway. So it's pretty cool. They all have a nice light fluffy texture to the cereal. Now let's try putting it in the milk. So there you go, that's an idea of what it looks like. It's kind of from the side and you can see there's a big difference between this one and the frosted. The frosted, it barely looked that different from the milk itself from the side but on this one, you can definitely tell there's a color difference. It's more like honey colored, more sun baked, a little more like golden brown. And I think that's from the peanut butter. So let's give it a taste. All right, about to taste the peanut butter. Let's see if it's worth these extra 10 calories. So far, this one has the worst stats of all of them. It's the most calories and the most sodium. Mm. They don't taste like that much. They taste kind of sweet. I feel like that saltiness actually goes away when you put the milk on, which is kind of a bummer because the salt was a nice aspect of it. And I don't really taste like anything that peanut buttery about this. 
There's supposed to be peanut or peanut butter flavored. Peanut butter. It says peanut oil, peanut flour, peanut extract. But honestly, for all of that peanut, I barely taste it at all. Yeah. You know when people make that joke about LaCroix waters and they say that LaCroix tastes like if you drink water, closed your eyes, and somebody shouted a fruit name from the other room? Strawberry, lime. Like that's kind of what this tastes like. It's like if I ate something slightly sweet and I close my eyes and somebody's like, peanut butter. Like <laughs> that's kind of what this tastes like. So I don't know. I can't say that I recommend this one, but to eat it, I might cut it with the the last flavor, which is the chocolate flavor. I feel really hopeful for the chocolate flavor. I've read a lot of people like the chocolate flavor, and I've read a lot of people say that this flavor is okay. And I haven't seen that much on Frosted or Fruity, the other two that we tried. But that's something I noticed while I was doing research about it. So yeah, overall, for how much peanut ingredients I tried to put in here, I really don't taste that much peanut. All right, well, that's the peanut butter. Now let's try the next one. Okay, last but not least is the cocoa flavor. This is one of the ones that I'm the most excited about. Um, first off, I mean, chocolate cereal is really dope. Secondly, it has a little doggy on the front and I love doggies. Benjamin's actually a chocolate miniature pincher, so that is really fun. And I've also, like I mentioned earlier, read the best things about this flavor. So I do have some high hopes. Just taking a look at the side, it says calories 140, sodium 160 milligrams, so that's not bad and protein 13 grams. So this is either the best or second best in the stats of the four uh, that we've looked at so far. Some of them have more protein, like one gram more of protein in them, but at the same time they have like more sodium and some of them, one of them has more calories and one of them doesn't, I think. So does only the peanut one have 14 grams? Probably comes from the peanut flour. Okay. Looks great, looks very dark. So it's kind of a shot of what it looks like in the bag. It's hard to tell. I can kind of smell it through the bag already. Hmm. okay. This smell is really good. This one's supposed to be competing with Cocoa Puffs, I guess. I haven't had Cocoa Puffs in a really long time, so I couldn't really tell you what they smell like, to be honest, but this smells so good. This smells like a chocolate cake, like how the frosted one smells like a birthday cake or a sugar cookie. This like straight up smells like either like chocolate cake or a brownie cooking or something like that really really good um let's take a look at the i didn't look at the ingredients um they're not dairy free by the way they all use casein which is milk protein although technically i don't think it has any lactose in it so you're welcome to give it a shot if you're lactose intolerant i'm not going to tell you how to live your life but uh, i know for some people that wouldn't work anyway um so yeah, I guess the only chocolate flavor this has is cocoa powder. It's got sweetener, oil, tapioca starch, cocoa powder, and then that stuff from chicory root and or agave, natural flavor, and salt. So let's try some uh, raw. They have a sticky coating kind of on the outside. Pretty good. Very... Hershey's syrup vibes or very hot chocolate, like a powdered, like a Swiss Miss hot chocolate or something like that. Pretty good. Maybe a little hard to tell from this distance, but like this seems like a white cereal with a coating on it. 
compared to the fruity cereal, for example, which seemed, in my opinion, like an almost fully dyed cereal. The middle of the fruity ones, I think, are white on the inside, but they seem like they are, I don't know, maybe using the vegetable juice to flavor them like in the actual dough or something like that. Compared to this one, just looks like a coating on the outside. And um, the frosted ones, they seemed to be also whole, like just that, they, they honestly seem like the base cereal, this white part of it that's underneath um, with just some extra ingredients in it. And then the peanut butter one, I think also seemed like it had kind of a coating like this one does. So let's put it, but it also says it uses peanut flour and I would think that they would be cutting the base cereal with peanut flour, but I don't know, I'm honestly kind of surprised how little it tasted like peanut butter. All right, I'll just get this in some milk. Let's take a look at the close-up. So you can see that is kind of what it looks like when it's in milk. I think you can see here a little bit better the fact that it's like a coating, like you can see that it's a brown outer circle with a smaller white part inner circle. And that's because these seem like they're maybe dipped. And then this is a, a side view. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm-hmm. These are the best. Mm-hmm. These are good. Like I said, I haven't had Cocoa Puffs in a really long time. Oh, and the milk's already getting chocolatey. And see, that's the other thing. The rest of them, the other three, I didn't even try the milk because it was just so obvious that like nothing even came off of it, uh, in it. But this you can definitely tell that the chocolate is already coming off of the cereal and uh, making it nice and chocolatey. So it tastes like brownies. Mm -hmm. It kind of gives me more of a Cocoa Pebbles vibe than a Cocoa Puffs because I think that Cocoa Pebbles are also coated in like a little kind of sticky-ish chocolate concoction like this. These are really good. They have a cross of brownie taste and chocolate cake taste. Good. All right, I definitely recommend these ones. These are really good. Cocoa. Coco's where it's at with the magic spoon. All right, I did want to do one experiment before we rank the cereals from best to worst. I wanted to try this fruity flavor in the water because I kind of noticed while I was trying them all that I had a kind of strange aftertaste that I really didn't like, but I was starting to wonder if that was actually from the oat milk and not from the cereal itself. So I want to try this fruity one more time, just in some water. Just to see if I still get that weird spiciness. And also there was a really strange texture that I didn't enjoy. It was like, waxy, but I also think that that is maybe from the actual oat milk itself and not the cereal. Yeah, definitely some of the bitterness that I tasted from this was actually from the oat milk and not from the cereal. This one's really pretty good. It's pretty close to Fruit Loops. All right. So I've never had that brand of oat milk before. 
probably should have tried it just by itself before I <laughs> tried it with the cereal. Okay, now that we tried them all, it's time to rank them from best to worst. So, number one cereal from Magic Spoon that you should definitely try is Coco takes first place. First place goes to Coco because the smell is great, the taste is awesome. I can't say how close it is to Coco Puffs, which I think is the one that they specifically compared this cereal to, but I can definitely say that it's very, very similar to Coco Pebbles down to the actual little coating that goes on the outside of each of the cereal. This one is very good, smells and tastes like either a freshly baked brownie or kind of like chocolate cake. So if you're thinking about giving any of these a try, I definitely recommend Coco. All right, now let's talk about second place, Fruity. This cereal is very, very good. It's very flavorful despite having zero sugar in it. I was pretty surprised all around with both of these, but especially Fruity here with how strong the flavors actually are. I think that when it comes to health food or food made with natural flavorings as opposed to artificial ones, the strength of the flavor and the accuracy of the flavor can be very challenging. And I would also say the accuracy of the flavor, especially from the perspective of matching this flavor to something else that's artificial. But I say that overall, in my opinion, the smell is pretty spot on. The taste is also pretty spot on as far as comparing this one to Fruit Loops. So I think overall they did a really good job with this one. First and second place, I can definitely recommend to everyone. If you like Cocoa Puffs, if you like Fruity, sorry, if you like Fruit Loops, I almost said Fruity Pebbles, I would say it has a different vibe from Fruity Pebbles, but if you like Fruit Loops, you like Cocoa Cereal, these are very strong contenders and I think that this will definitely scratch your itch. Now let's talk about third place. So third place goes to Frosted. Overall, I would say that this tastes pretty much nothing like Frosted Flakes. So if you're looking specifically for a Frosted Flakes replacement, I would not pick this up. I do think that you're gonna be disappointed. The reason why it's in third place though is because I still think it has a pleasant and good flavor. Just overall the flavor reminds me more of what you would consider like a birthday cake flavor or a vanilla icing flavor or a sugar cookie flavor. That's kind of the vibes that I get from this one. So the con is that it might not be as close to matching or nailing the flavor of Frosted Flakes as these two do successfully match the flavors of what they're trying to copy. But I do think that on its own, it has a decent flavor. I think it also, oh no, that's not, sorry. I was, I was about to say, I think it also has the lowest calories, but I, it's tied actually. So it's tied with cocoa. Cocoa overall coming in strong too. 160 milligrams of sodium, 13 grams. This one has 210 milligrams of sodium, both at 140 calories, both at 13 grams of protein. So by stats, cocoa is actually a superior or slightly more healthy cereal compared to this one. I mean, look, if you ask me, do I want frosted or do I want this cocoa one? Probably gonna pick this one every time. But if you want just some more variety to your flavors and everything like that, if you like a sugar cookie type of flavor, then I think that this could be a really good pick for you. Now let's talk about fourth place. Fourth place would go to peanut butter. Reason why fourth place is gonna go to peanut butter is because it's just disappointing. I think this peanut butter disappointed me the most out of all of these ones. It smells peanut buttery, kind of. Like the scent had me excited. It made me think that maybe it would be pretty good. But to be honest, once you put it into a liquid, it really doesn't taste like anything at all. It is kind of just sweet. That's pretty much the only flavor on my palate that I get from this. 
And if you're looking for one that just tastes nondescriptly sweet, this frosted flavor I think is just overall more appealing than this one. And the other thing that I find a little disappointing about it is that when I tasted it dry, it had this very lovely saltiness to it, but once you put it in a liquid, that saltiness, it doesn't come through anymore, which kind of makes sense. I mean, the water or the liquid or the milk is probably washing off whatever salt is on the outside. But without that saltiness, there's really nothing here for the flavor to hold it together. I mean, yeah, like I said, I don't know how else to describe it other than just like a nondescript sweet flavor. And if you're looking for a nondescript sweet flavor, then this frosted one is definitely way better. I also would say that it's pretty much a fail when it comes to what it's trying to copy, which is the Reese's mm. Puffs cereal, as far as I know. Although I find it interesting that they say that this one is supposed to copy the Reese's Puff cereal because my understanding was that that cereal is supposed to be peanut butter and chocolate. So overall, to finish up this one, I'm honestly probably never gonna eat it by itself. So I might cut it with the cocoa. So both of these together might make, you know, peanut butter edible. <laughs> uh, I mean, it is edible, don't get me wrong. Like, it's not bad. It's just not good. There's really nothing delightful or positive about it. At least this one has some positives. And then from the stats standpoint, peanut butter performs the worst. It has 170 calories, so it has the most calories, 210 milligrams of sodium. So it has the most sodium and that's tied with one of these other ones. I think it's this one maybe, yeah. These two are tied for having the most sodium but it has the most calories by far. So it has one extra gram of protein. So I guess there's that. I'm pretty sure that comes from the fact that they're putting peanut flour in the actual mix. Like it, seem, it seems like their base cereal is being cut with peanut flour for this one. But overall, like I really feel like they tried with the peanut butter, you know, like there's three different peanut ingredients in here. Uh, there's a peanut extract, the peanut flour, and then what's the other one? Peanut oil. So they put three different natural peanut flavorings into here, but I don't know, somehow pretty much none of them come through at all. Especially once you add liquid to this, it really tastes pretty much like nothing. So guys, now I'm gonna turn it around to you. If you've tried Magic Spoon before, what did you think about it? Or if you haven't tried it before, do you think that you might now or not? Definitely let me know what you think about Magic Spoon in the comments because I'm so curious to hear from you. Thank you so much again for watching this far. I really appreciate it. My overall food philosophy is that you should love what you eat. You can lose weight, build muscle, and live what people consider a healthy lifestyle all without cutting out carbohydrates, fats, or proteins from your diet, and all without cutting out your favorite foods, or going out to eat, or going on vacation, or having fun, or partying, or whatever it is that you wanna do. You just have to be smart about it. So if you wanna come on this journey with me to lose weight, build muscle, and love what you eat, then definitely subscribe to this channel and give the video a like because you don't want to miss any of my next future videos. And if you're looking for a video to check out next, then definitely check out these two videos that I have up on the screen for you. I handpicked them for you so I know that you're going to love them. Consider trying one of my wildly popular lazy one pot chicken and rice instant pot recipes. Right now the fan favorite is the Greek lemon rice with chicken thighs. Or how about some risotto for your date night? And by the way, if you wanna get an email with the recipes that I post in a text form sent straight to you, then definitely check out eatloveprotein.com. Also, thank you so much to everyone who supports the show on Patreon. Without you, it wouldn't be possible. If you wanna support me and help support more free episodes, then definitely go to eatloveprotein.com support. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much again for watching today's video and I'll see you next Monday. Bye for now.